Hey, good morning, friends. It's Patty with Get Personal with Patty, and this is my weekly paycheck bill tracker budget. I budget by week, which is when I get paid, and I use the new Budget Mom box set, which are these little books that come one a month. Um, I, I really like it, it's really cute. And then I added this budget category organizer to the back flap. So if you're not a part of the Budget Moms newsletter, you should really um, subscribe and you can go on to the budgetmom.com to subscribe. She sends out freebies on a weekly basis. And this was one of them, um, I think this was last week. So I, I um, printed it out to fit this cover, which is size, I think, 65%. And then I'm just going to try to use the same colors, and this gives me an idea of what categories I use in my little book. So obviously a cushion, <clears throat> I, uh, credit card payments, specialty grocery is one that I have. It's for like things like coffee, uh, misfits when we do the produce. Uh, Loadoro, which is an Italian market that we get different cheeses from on a monthly basis. Um, nut Shop, which is nutshop.com. Gracie really likes these garlic sesame sticks that come from there. So I put that under specialty grocery. If we stop at a store that we just get like some grocery items, but they're specialty. Um, I, you know, what's the difference between specialty and grocery? Um, I would say like the Italian cheese market, Portuguese. We're Portuguese, um, Italian and Portuguese in this household. So if we go to a, a Portuguese market on the cuff. So I try to put a little bit of money in there weekly or monthly and try to stop. So we have it to go to these different places. Um, P personal. Obviously, we don't want that to that color to show up on a monthly basis. Um, cash out is my orange. And then gifts, donations, fundraisers. So I send Misfit Markets to my mother-in-law every other week. So that's where that, that color comes in. Um, donations, you know, the different schools that have fundraisers going on for senior class and this and that is what I do here and any fundraisers. Utilities, try to pay a little bit of money a week on our utility bill so it doesn't have to come out of the joint bill. And if I have extra, I'll throw $50 here or there. So I did make up a color for that. And then savings. I might have an, a couple more, but for right now, that's what I have. And, um, you know, I'll add one of these to every book and use the same color so it's consistent. So let's take a look at what where I budgeted this month. So it's this is the 312 paycheck. So my rollover cushion has really increased, and I'm really proud of that. And that's that two seventy, so it's two hundred and seventy dollars. And again, a roll of a cushion. I I started small at twenty dollars a week, and I really just, you know, it's mindset. I'm not spending that money, and, and that's all there is to it. I I just I want to keep it in there, and at the end of the year, or maybe at a six month mark, you know, I can take three hundred dollars out. You know, maybe when it reaches six hundred. I would take $300 out, put it into a savings account, you know, for a rainy day or whatever, and um, still have $300 cushion. Uh, my checking account balance rollover was $17.29, and then my check this week with a little bit of overtime was $355. So I have $642 to work with. So again, I put the $270 in there as a rollover cushion, but then that's the first thing I take out because I don't want to spend that. And then I add ten dollars this week again it's anywhere from 10 to 20 to 25 cushion but this week it's 10 now that I'm that high up in my cushion and I like that I'll probably do ten dollars a week for the next few weeks I did some impulse shopping feeling a little discouraged about my weight loss efforts the other day so I did an impulse shopping of thirty three dollars um, I'm trying to get some of that money back um, because I, I'm not going to use it. What It was a keto plan. I thought it was more different different than it turned out to be. So if I have to pay it, you know, that's okay too because it's already taken out. But 
I did send them an email and said, you know, it was it was purchased an error. And then I did put fifty dollars toward my our electric bill. So my envelopes really is basically the same thing. If you you know watch any of my videos, you can see that I really do you know the same um, variables weekly. So I list them here. Groceries is sixty. Personal for my husband and I is twenty five. I did put down LHHP, which is a monthly girl dinner for ten dollars. Miscellaneous for ten dollars. Dine out for twenty five. Uh, 15 is um, planning to go to New York at the end of May and then child care extra child care is 40 so I budget those numbers here as well as these down here for my sinking funds I usually have the same ones BJ's um, I have four sinking funds that are five dollars each so that's 20 April challenge is 20 hundred envelopes I didn't put anything in there yet house cleaning 25 Specialty grocery 20 and then these three are automatic transfers. So I put them in automatically um, a savings to alley account emergency fund and Christmas 21 And then in the actual column I put what I actually put in those envelopes I know there's a couple of different ways that people do it um, the budget mom Says you budget here, and then you put exactly what how much in groceries you spent how much you spent but I keep that it you know on the envelope itself so at the end of the month I know how much cash was spent so in this column I really just put what amount I put if I want $60 in groceries maybe I couldn't could only really put 40 this week but so you see what I mean so I did put I'm gonna put 60 in my groceries personal is 25 for each of us I'm not putting anything in LHHP or miscellaneous dine out I'll put 25 in New York I'll put 15 in and then extra child care, I'll put 40 because we do have a sitter coming this weekend for a few hours. BJ's, I'll put 20. And we go to BJ's on Friday, uh, Saturday, I'm sorry, not today, tomorrow. Um, and I think with that 20, we'll have uh, um, $90. So we might take an extra 20 from our joint account um, to spend as well. But that gives us $100 at BJ's. And uh, I'll do a BJ's haul when we get home. But usually... I know we need hand soap, um, paper plates, my husband gets his beer there, so $100 should be plenty. We'll try hard not to buy anything extra, because that's really, you know, when you buy extra. So then I had no extra money debt or savings, and this is where I break down the denominations for the money I'm pulling out. My money thoughts, I've been using this weekly. So my money thoughts for this week is priorities, you know, every every week sometimes I can't fill my variable or sinking funds and that's okay don't beat yourself up you can only do what you can do and even with um, what I budgeted this week and what I'm putting in envelopes and my sinking funds I'll have about um, $40 left in my checking account and that's you know obviously before the cushion so I'm comfortable with that you know because I don't my debit card for this account is at home. I don't swipe it. I don't use it. And that is my weekly paycheck for March 12th. And I would love for you to subscribe. And if you have any questions, um, certainly ask. And um, have a nice weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.